What's up everybody? So this is my last video about the ProTech Newport and I just wanted to take a second to appreciate this awesome design on this knife and that's also why I drew it on paper. I just uh, I kind of want to, want to get an understanding a little bit better of this knife and how, how these lines uh, all work together and flow together and I, I kind of wanted to go a little bit into the details of this knife design. Um, if you're not interested in that, then just uh, uh, I think there are other videos to watch. So the Protec Newport originates from the Sprint, from my understanding, which is this knife right here. It's a two-inch California legal automatic knife, which two inches is about 5.8 centimeters. And so you can see the Newport up here is just an enlarged version of that knife. The lines, of, of course, are a little bit different because. Uh, they, they stretched it out and they thinned it out, and but it, it's based on this design. The new part, however, is not California legal with its three inches, which is seven point uh, seven point three centimeters. Um, it's not California legal, but it's still still a small knife. It's a three whoop seventeen six seventeen point six centimeters of all seven seven point one inches. Yeah, so let's just start off with the handle first. So as you can see, this presentation side of the handle is very clean, especially on this version, which has no inlays. There are, and there are also no screws on this side. All the screws are on the back side of the knife. There's only the pivot screw. And then of course there's the push button for the mechanism. And this push button is recessed. So that's probably also why they didn't put the safety on this knife because it doesn't really need one. There's no no way for you to um, activate this knife without you pressing the button. If we compare this, for example, to this Boca Strike right here, this push button is not recessed, so that's also why they, they put the safety on there to be 100% sure that you cannot open this knife unintentionally. And what you can also see with this push button is that it's not completely flat. There is a little bit it has a peak in the middle and it's rounded off. The peak is not, um, you cannot feel it with your finger. It's just, it's probably there to help you not slip off the push button, whereas on a totally flat push button, again, Boca Strike as comparison, um, they need to put on some chimping so in order for you to not slip off that, that button. That's just a assumption. I don't know that for sure, but I, I think that's probably why they did it. And also you can see this push button is very nicely done, very nicely polished. Also the way they recess this in here, um, if you look at these lines around this push button, they are very, very clean, very rounded off. It's no, no sharp corners. It's, I think it flows very well with the design overall. It's, it's a very nice detail actually that they did this, um, this recessed button in here. And then, okay, if we look at the rest of the handle, you can see this handle gets narrower here and then it gets this belly here and then it thins out towards the end. And what that does is in this this narrow part right here in um, with with uh, also with that 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 little bit of rounding off and, and milling in in the handle helps you to guide your two um, fingers here and then around that belly the other two fingers wrap around and it really helps you find a good grip on this knife. I have small hands by the way. Medium hands probably the same thing. Larger hands maybe a little bit different but for me it works perfectly fine to wrap my hand around this. And the reason to probably do this is because if you grab something, if you wrap your hand around something you have more area, more space in here than in here and that's probably why they, they narrowed it down here. In comparison to the Spider Condura which also has that part a little bit recessed here where your two fingers can guide in but the knife is thicker here than here and they did it they did this of course on Endura because it has a spider hole and they need room for the spider hole in order for you to open it and that's that's why it has less material here and more material here on the new port however if it might look like this part of the handle is wider than this one. 
but if we go to the narrowest point in this front section right here and measure it for a second we get 1.9 or maybe 2 centimeters and the widest part of this back section right here of this of this hump right here is also 1.9 uh, centimeters so this part here is as wide as this one right here which is very interesting it may not look like it but it is if you actually measure it this this part here is wide and it stays at that same um, same wideness and then it thins out towards the end which really helps you make a good grip around this handle again compare it to the uh, spider condura from thickness um, it's almost as thick as a spider condura spider condura is a little bit thinner than the paramilitary 2 and this knife is somewhere in between um, the Endura and the for example Cold Steel Code 4 which has a very thin handle so this handle is not too thin but it's thin enough so it carries well um, which also with the and um, if we look at and um, if we look at the weight 61 grams 2.2 ounces and a thin handle means and all, overall this narrow small design means that it carries very well and yeah, if you look at the handle on the back side here, it almost looks like it's an integral knife, but it's not. It, had, it has two, two sides, two different scales, as you can see by the, the small gap right here. I always thought it would be nice if they did some kind of milling in here, but um, it doesn't work because of the screws. Or at least not, uh, they couldn't do entire milling through this here, because they need some room for the screws to go in. But it's it's still it's still very clean, very elegant. I think it fits the overall design of the knife. And then if we look at the knife like so, for example, it almost looks like this knife was at first designed completely symmetrical. If you look at the handle, for example, can you see it? That this almost it looks like it was symmetrical at first, and then they just added up. Um, those grooves right here to fit your fingers. It's very interesting. And also the blade, it looks like the blade was, uh, is a little bit symmetrical, but it's actually not. Um, because if we, for example, if we take the center line of the handle, and this is the center line of the handle, so now we can see, i show you on this drawing, maybe you can see it a little bit easier. The tip is just, uh, the tip is just a little bit above the center line of the, of the knife handle. And of course, if the, the tip of a knife is in the center line of the handle, it means that it's stabbier. For example, if you look at the dagger, here's a bayonet with a, um, a dagger blade. Um, the tip of this knife is in the center of the handle of this knife, which means that it's the ultimate stabbing point. And this knife also has a very stabby point, but it's not completely in the middle, not completely in the center line of the handle. Still, it's a very thin and stabby point. And also because the thickness of the blade is 2.5 millimeters, which is about 0.10 in. And also this, this blade tapers down towards the tip, which makes it very thin, very pointy. And then we have also that swatch on the knife up here. And that swatch just complements that tip very well and makes it even, even pointier, even, even thinner. You can see it on my drawing a little bit better than on the knife actually, um, that this, this swatch right here is very prominent on this knife design. It's actually a big swatch for this small of a knife, which all, it all supports this very thin, very delicate tip. Very interesting. Um, the blade shape overall, very goes uh, has a little bit of belly here and then it, it it goes back a little bit this way and if you look at the grind of this knife you can see that the grind of the knife actually goes beneath the handle and then continues to go forward very interesting I have not seen this on too many knives actually I don't know of any knife that has this like this that uh, the grind is beneath the handle which is also a part why you may hit the scales when resharpening it because if you want to sharpen this portion right here you run into the 
the danger of, of, of hitting this the scales here. So it, it may be yeah, it may be cool as a design point. Practically, it's not not that good to be honest, but yeah, it is what it is. And what else? Yeah, the then the on the front side of this of the blade they have the, the logo. It's it's quite big, but if you look at the at my drawing here, you can see there's really a lot of room for a big logo. So also the Protec logo is not too too loud. It it kind of flows with the design. It works well. On the back side, they just have S thirty five VN. They didn't write a CPM S thirty five VN. Just to be like this. Sorry. Um, they didn't write CPM S thirty five VN. Just S thirty five VN. Probably to not have too many stuff on the blade. And then back here, um, they wrote the name of the knife and also the production run and the serial number of the knife, which is it's kind of nice. It's unique. It's very interesting to see that here and. Yeah, very clean overall design, very interesting lines, very good design, very interesting the way it fits in your hand. The pocket clip, if you have the pocket clip on your knife, it doesn't fit as good. i show you the pocket clip real quick. The pocket clip has recessed screws, so that means when, your when you stick this in your pants, it goes up all the way to the end of the clip, which in comparison, other deep carry pocket clips, for example, if you pull, um, put this in your pants, your pants will sn being snapped, uh, snacked up on the on the screws right at this point, and you have to force them all the way in. So this is just a much better deep carry pocket clip with those recessed screws, um, with those recessed torque screw that screws that is. Uh, very interesting, very good there. The old Protec new ports didn't have that. This is just on the on the new ones. The really old ones didn't. Recessed screws. I'm really glad they did this. Very interesting knife from a design standpoint of view. Uh, I hope you like this video. And as I said, the last Protec video, uh, Protec Newport video, I will be doing. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye, guys.